Richard and Dale and others have talked about what a small town this is and being in the middle of nowhere, but really it's not that far off of Interstate 73, just to the west. Well, today is my tour of the Petty Museum at 311 Branson Mill Road in Randleman, North Carolina. Some of the other accolades and awards from the people that Richards met, like Ronald Reagan, and here's the Presidential Medal of Freedom. That's, uh, wow. Amazing. What? Kind of a children's play area here. More childlike toys, different books that children can read, you know, keep their attention while parents are running around looking. You can watch the Cars movies here. The Racing Petties. There's a lot of names in there. A lot of names. See, they say don't touch, but like Sam Kinison said, I didn't want it until you told me I couldn't have it. <laughs> Some of Richard's gun collection. Wow. Gold plated, chrome plated. Some of his watches that he's spoken about. I guess you better separate the crystal and the glass. <clears throat> Linda's dog collection that they've spoken about. <clears throat> More Richard's gun collection. Head on to the side room here. Sorry, the glare from the glass making it a little hard to see some of it. And I'll stand right here in the middle. You don't have to see me. <laughs> Who wants to see me? Yeah. So the collection he's got here. Wow. <clears throat> David Pearson said once, he said, you know, Richard did it right. You know, the way he dealt with fans. He said that, you know, he should have done it like this. Meaning, you know, <laughs> you know, David was no dummy. He He knew that, you know, Richard had you know, quite a fan following and, you know, monetarily was doing well for himself. Not that David didn't because, you know, he invested in real estate, but what he meant by that was, you know, it could have been more. And, you know, whether Richard means to do it for monetary gain or not, it still is time consuming and it's still something that is involved. So whether you mean to do it for money or not, it doesn't matter because you still takes up time to you know, spend time with fans and to reach out and to, to be there when they're there to sit for three hours after a race. And like on that, the video that's playing in the background that you can probably hear where Sharon uh, and the kids are, and uh, Rebecca uh, are talking about how they'd be sitting uh, hours after a race until daddy's done signing autographs. So uh, there's, there's always a, a give and take, like ARC of President Bob Logan said, give and take. You give and then you take and you know that's that is life you know you plant seeds you reap a harvest some people call it karma some people call it uh, give and uh, take some people call it reaping a harvest
This is the flag stand from Richard's first win ever in a convertible race in 1959 at the Lakewood Speedway. Most people, when they start a dynasty, they don't think I'm starting a dynasty, but this is where it all started, right here in this reaper shed. And the most amazing thing is, is it's still here. Just amazing the history that has come out of this building. I remember them talking about when they poured the concrete here. Richard and uh, Maurice were talking about when they poured the concrete <clears throat> for the shed because they used to be working in the dirt on the floor on the race car. Now that is a replica. That is not, according to the sign, that is not an actual Lee Petty car, but you know, you know, they would reuse different parts and pieces and things like that like that. Lee was very, you know, thrifty, very frugal. You know, he, not frugal is the word, but you know, he would reuse things to, because, you know, you don't have a lot of money and if it works, keep using it, you know, rebuild it or keep using it. So, you know, probably that car was used and used and used and perhaps sold or, you know, well, knowing Lee, probably not wrecked, but, uh, you know, used over and over and over and, and why not? So the house does have tours, uh, just not uh, uh, on a routine basis because they said there's so few people that do come to do the tours of the house that they can't do them on a, like a schedule because sometimes people want to go, sometimes they don't. So then what happens is, is that you know there wouldn't be a tour to go through and then there'd be somebody standing around not doing tours. So, we've got even more things back here, more things petty back here, and I'm not exactly sure where to go, so I'm not going to start traipsing in and around and, you know, saying, oh, I can go here, and oh, I can go there, even though there's nothing saying I can't, but there are a lot of shops and a lot of roofs here, a lot of doors, like Dale Inman talked about once, he said, there's probably more doors here than any other uh, shop and racing <laughs> and he's probably right because of all the additions they put on this facility well these facilities here I can't call it one facility all these different shops and buildings and additions one thing about being from Detroit We've still got the Packard plant right off of 94, just west of Van Dyke there. And here's an old Packard sitting here. Beautiful car. Very nice. But it must be about a 50, 49, 50, 51. <clears throat> Loving those hubcaps there. It's back when you had hood ornaments. They kind of had to do away with those because people get impaled by them. So that's why you don't see a lot of hood ornaments anymore. Got the pull-out antenna. Beautiful car. Beautiful car. Race tires stacked outside here. The museum park here. Looks like they're going to be sold as souvenirs. So you guys better get them while you can.